Hi, my name is Shannon Ice. I am a mixed media artist um, in all sorts of different mediums, but I teach classes on how to do fluid acrylics, um, resin, alcohol inks, and a few other things. Um, I've been an artist my whole life, uh, probably just about in the past five years. It's kind of amped up a little bit and I can't stop. Um, if I didn't have art in my life, I don't know what I would do. Today I will be showing you an intro to alcohol inks and we will be creating this um, small alcohol ink tree on UPO paper. And you should have gotten a pad like this in your art box if you have one. If you don't, um, there will be another video showing you other things that you'll be able to use instead of these small UPO papers or anything else. Um, you also are going to need your three pinata alcohol inks that came in the box if you got them. And if you have rubbing alcohol around the house, I filled this up with rubbing alcohol. This is 91% alcohol. Um, it helps to flow your inks around and blend them together um, on your surface. And it also helps the alcohol inks to dry a little bit faster. Um, the percentage of alcohol that you have, the lower the percentage means the more watered down it will, it'll be. These are your three pinata alcohol inks um, that we're gonna be using today. We got blue, magenta, and what is this? Sun bright yellow. And this is Baja blue. And these colors together can make any color that you want, just FYI in the future. We're also gonna be using alcohol. I have 91% alcohol in this bottle. You don't need to put it in a separate bottle or anything. You can just squirt it right out of the bottle that you buy it in. Um, there are a few different percentages of alcohol that you can get. Um, I prefer 91% alcohol because the higher percentage of alcohol content in your bottle, that means the faster it's going to dry. So for instance, 51% or 50% alcohol will take longer to dry than 91% or 99%. Um, I prefer the 91%. You can also get 70% just about everywhere. So um, the alcohol will help you blend and mix and thin down your inks wherever you need to. We're also going to be using some Q-tips. Um, cotton swabs, if you don't have cotton swabs around, there are, are a million other things that you can do. Um, tape a piece of fabric to the end of a Sharpie and use it, um, or end of a pen, anything um, at all. And we'll be doing another video to explain different surfaces, different um, tools that you can use to make your alcohol ink piece. Um, don't forget to put your gloves on because alcohol ink stains. Um, if you have an apron, wear it, it'll stain your clothes, or just wear some old clothes. Um, you can try to flush the alcohol ink out of things, but it's not guaranteed that it's gonna come out with regular alcohol. Um, the Yupo paper, so there are actually three different kinds and a, quite a few different sizes of Yupo paper. Um, just for example, this is Yupo medium. Um, and then that's kind of like the regular normal. That's what I like to use. Um, this is Yupo translucent and it's actually kind of a see-through paper so you can put something with a different image on it um, on the like behind it to show through your alcohol ink to give it like an extra little bit of dimension and then there are Yupo heavy which is I believe what you guys have in your art boxes um, and you can feel that they're it's really heavy like cardstock but what's special about Yupo paper is that it is waterproof Alcohol inks work best on waterproof surfaces. Um, you can use old picture frame glass. If you don't have Yupo paper around, um, anything that's waterproof or non-porous. Um, it'll soak up wood or it'll soak, wood will soak it up. So we are going to make um, pieces. This is These are the steps that we're gonna go through to make your alcohol ink tree piece on one of these. Um, two and a half by three and a half art cards. So I I would say that a safe age um, to teach alcohol inks, just because it's alcohol, um, you know, fumey and everything else, um, you would probably start around seven or eight years old um, under adult supervision um, to make one of these pieces. Um, alcohol ink will stain everything. So make sure you cover your surface if you um, are doing this on a tabletop, cover it with a plastic tablecloth or something 
Um, so that way you don't stain your surface. It will also stain your skin and it will stain your clothes. So make sure you wear an apron. Um, make sure that your hands are covered. Unless you want to walk around with rainbow hands. I do all the time. That's fine too. So we are going to be making um, a small alcohol ink tree on your heavy Yupo uh, paper. This is the first step, making a background. Second step is making a background with hills. Third step, putting your tree on there. And then last step, adding color for your leaves and making it beautiful. We're gonna be using this Blue Baja Pinata alcohol ink. Um, and I'm gonna squirt a little bit of regular alcohol on here. Um, this is just my squirt bottle, but there's 91% alcohol in it. You don't have to put it in another bottle. I just prefer it that way. You can squirt it straight out of the bottle from the store. There's um, no reason that you need another bottle necessarily. Um, there are plenty of tools that you'll be able to use too to move your alcohol inks around. Paint brushes, Q-tips, paper towels, anything that you can find. I'm going to do this whole piece with some Q-tips today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is squirt a little bit of alcohol on there just to give my ink some movement. We're gonna do the same thing, but it's gonna have a blue background and a blue tree instead of black. What's cool is that when you put alcohol on the waterproof Yupo surface like this and then put your ink in it, you can move it around however you want. And no matter what, it's not gonna look um, finished until it's completely dry. So the more you move, move it, the more little lines and wrinkles and stuff that you'll get in it, more texture that you'll get in it. So I'm just gonna move the alcohol and alcohol inks around a little bit on the surface, um, just to give it maybe some like cloud texture. Give it some extra little deep lines. And then after you're done messing around with it, you can let it dry. It should just take a few minutes. You can blow on it. You can use a blow dryer. You can use an airbrush. And if you see, as it's drying, see the little wrinkles and stuff as the alcohol is still moving around. It's really amazing stuff. And I'm gonna show you later too some other tips and tricks to make different textures. So once you're done, once it's all dry, now I wanna put some hills on there. And I'm just gonna use straight blue on my palette. If you don't have a palette, that's not a problem. You can use a shot glass, um, anything glass. Generally, the alcohol ink will come off of with regular alcohol, so you can use glass, but you can use a paper plate. You can use anything um, that the alcohol ink isn't gonna sit there for three days on unless you want it to dry and soak in. So I'm gonna soak the alcohol ink up into my Q-tip and I'm gonna make some hills. And if you feel like you don't have enough ink on there, go ahead and soak your Q-tip up or soak up some more alcohol ink with your Q-tip. So we're gonna make hills. I'm gonna do one going this way. Just get that colored in a little. Then we're gonna do another one, like right here. And get that colored in. And alcohol ink itself dries faster than it does with alcohol mixed in it too, just so you know. And then we'll do this little last hill right over here. And if you mess up, it's okay. You can always go back in and redo the lines right over top of it. Once this is dry and you don't like a certain spot, um, don't worry. You can always reactivate your dry alcohol ink with regular alcohol. I just wanted to have some more like lines in it. Now we are going to grab another Q-tip. As soon as that dries, we're gonna need these for the leaves. So I'll use the blue again. Put some more alcohol ink on there. Isn't it amazing the difference? And this is all the same color ink. I'm just gonna do a couple of little lines down at the bottom to make it look like roots kind of, and then bring your tree stump up. The lighter you touch the Q-tip to the surface, 
the smaller line you'll make with your Q-tip. So now I'm gonna make some branches. And you can just kind of put lines wherever you feel like. We're just trying to make it look like a tree. And don't worry if your um, branches don't look right to you. First of all, they're always gonna look right to somebody else. But if they don't look right, it's okay because you're gonna cover them with leaves anyways. So all these little imperfections that you think that are in here um, won't even show up. So that's probably enough for branches. We'll give it a second to dry and then we are gonna go in with this Senorita Magenta and Sunbright Yellow Pinata Alcohol Inks. So we'll go ahead and put a drop or two in our palette of both. And these do evaporate quickly, but what's cool about them is if you put them in here and they dry up, all you gotta do is pour a little bit more alcohol in there to reactivate it. So I think first thing we're gonna do is go in with some yellow. And all you're gonna do is just kind of dot around. And the yellow will touch the blue, obviously, because the whole thing's covered in blue and make like green. So you're gonna have a lot more colors in this piece than just magenta, blue, and yellow. You just keep dotting around, get down your branches. If you need more ink, just drop some more in there. I like to do it in layers because I feel like the more layers you put on it, the prettier it comes out. And I'm just gonna flip over my Q-tip since I got some blue on there. Give it a little bit more brighter yellow. And put a few leaves down at the bottom like they're falling off the tree. And then now we're gonna use the magenta to go over it. And then I'll probably go back over with the yellow again. So magenta is gonna mix with the yellow and make some oranges and then it's gonna mix with the blue too and make um, some purpley colors. But what's cool about doing it like this, as long as you wait um, till each layer is dry, you don't have to worry about the colors flowing and muddying up. So now I got like the main leaves on there, I feel like. I'm gonna go back in with the yellow. And this will give it, give the magenta a little bit more of an orangey, flooded type of look. If you wanna go in and um, make smaller little dots, you can use a dotting tool, you can use the tip of a pen if you wanna, or even like an eraser on a pencil. There are a million things you can use. And if you feel like your branches aren't pronounced enough when you're done, you can go back through um, and do small little lines. So, done with the leaves. I'm just gonna, I don't wanna put a whole bunch of ink on there, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go through and just kind of give my branches a little bit of, of um, color so that you can see them. And then that's about it. If you don't like a certain area, like I said, you can always go back in and put some more leaves and just keep doing that until you love it.
and I think I love it like that, so I'm gonna leave it. So now we are done making our tiny little alcohol ink trees. Um, catch the next video, we're gonna show you how to make a big one.